Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club with Chetanesh Nuri and today we're gonna install the Nemesis ROM for the Galaxy S6 Edge and it is the ROM version 3.1 right now. So we're just gonna go into the custom recovery to do that and to do that we're just gonna press volume up key, home key and power key at the same time. And now we're gonna let go of the power key. And the ROM is basically a S7 Edge port running the uh, Android version Nougat. And now we're gonna go in Wipe and Advanced Wipe and we're gonna select Dalvik ART Cache System, Data and Cache once again and Swipe to Wipe. And we're gonna go back, back and back and back. We're gonna go and install and we're gonna select the Nemesis Nougat S6 version 3.1. So the ROM does come with the Aroma installer, so it should be booted into the Aroma installer now. So now we're gonna press next and we're gonna agree to that next and make a wipe data and factory reset yes next and my device is Galaxy S6 Edge so next and I'm just gonna try and uh, select the INS for geo fixed geo volte. I, even though my device is from the UAE, I'm just gonna try this out and see if the VoLTE works uh, for the Geo. So this is for the Indian users. So next. And I'm not gonna select any of these, so I'm gonna press next and OK and install. So the ROM is installing now and I'm sorry that I am posting the video so late. The reason for that is because my exams were going on, then my assignments were due. So I was held up in completing all of those things. And because of that, I wasn't able to make the review for the Nexify ROM as well. And the next, I would just like to say that the Nexify ROM was amazing and I would really recommend you to use that and the ROM was just amazing and it was so fast. And if you like to see the um, review video of the Nexify ROM, please comment. I would make a review for the Nexify ROM. And now we're just gonna press next and we're gonna finish this. And now we're gonna reboot the system. So as the device is booting up, let's talk about the ROM. So it is basically a S7H port running the Nougat and the ROM comes with the ROM controller and the 4G icon is changed with LTE. You have the recording button now. You have uh, support recent app protection. I don't know what it actually is. You have virtual buttons in the... You can also have virtual buttons using the ROM control. Um, you have a fully customized reboot menu with ROM control. You have many more things and you also have um, permissive can and all so we're just gonna wait for device to boot up and see what's the ROM like so so the device just booted up and the one thing I'm not liking right now is this uh, battery percentage over here but uh, I think the VoLTE now works because it is showing VoLTE over there and the device just uh, rebooted for some reason and we're just gonna wait for it to boot up once again. And it booted up uh, fairly quickly this time. So I really, I'm really liking this uh, UI. It is looking really amazing. And we uh, follow English of United States over here in India. So I'm just gonna select it, uh, just select this over here and we're gonna select next, St uh, press on start. And I'm just gonna enter my um, Wi-Fi password over here. So everything is feeling really smooth and amazing over here right now. The fix for Volte is working and I got a little bit of signal right over here right now. So I have two bars of signal now. So the device is all set up now and 
as you can see it is looking just like the galaxy s7 edge right now uh, with a little bit of changes here and there so you have some extra apps and it is has removed some of the apps from the galaxy s6 edge as well as well so as you can see as you uh, bring down the notification bar you have your device model number you have android version you have nemesis uh, this uh, build version you have battery level you have network you have wi-fi information and all so it is showing the geo 4g so first of all let's go into the settings and first of all let's see all of these over here so the blue light filter is working right now so i'm just gonna turn on the wi-fi calling so we can see about that and let's uh, check the always on display right now so the always on display is also working now so i really like that so let's go into the settings and see the android version so so everything is logged like the galaxy s6 edge now and it is showing smg 95 950m so smg 950f so let me just turn down uh, so as you can now clearly see and everything is working now and looks nice so i'm just gonna try and see if uh, the volt is working so this is my phone over here galaxy s3 which has my other sim in it so i'm just gonna call it up and the color screen is just like the s7 edge as well so as you can see it is now working and i am so happy to say that uh, it is the first rom to support uh, the geo volt e as far as i know and it is really nice and, and all i think i this might be my favorite rom of all time right now but i really like the nexify rom uh, as well but this is just amazing so uh, in the nexify rom i was missing the um, Samsung UI but the Nexify ROM was really fast but I think I would sacrifice a little bit of speed for the Samsung UI many people are not fan of the um, Samsung UI the Grace UX or the Samsung experience as they call it now but uh, I really love this uh, Samsung UI Grace UX or Samsung experience or whatever they call it now I really like it and all the features that Samsung provides and it is just amazing and hats off to Samsung for creating this kind of UI that I really like and hats off to the developer to make a successful and great port for the Galaxy S6 Edge from the Galaxy S7 Edge and really big shout out to the developer. You are a really great developer man and uh, keep it up and I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching guys